wait, no, 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 no. Look, you've got the wrong guy. I'm not Jose Rizal. My name is Jeff, and I'm just legally blind. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. Now I'm at Fort Santiago, and this is the place where Jose Rizal was imprisoned. Jose Rizal is the, uh, is, is the national hero of the Philippines. He's famous for standing up to tyrants and um, kind of influencing the people to rise up and overthrow tyrants. And he was executed by the Spanish for doing so. So this is where he was in prison. We're gonna go check it out. So is this Jose Rizal's cell? Yeah, and all uh, Katiponeros. So he was a prisoner here, yes. right here. Yes, yes. So I guess this right here is where Jose Rizal was kept prisoner before he was executed. I think he likes it. So here's another cell and they said that there's coins down here. I can't see them but they said that there's coins down here so I guess I make a wish. You want to know what I wished for? Too bad. Oh, 
Ay, post mo. Ang haba yan. Nalayo ko nga. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> creepy. Okay, so after we left Fort Santiago, it was too dark to come here. They they closed the park here at like, I don't know, five o'clock, so it was too late. But um, this is part of Rizal Park, and this here is Jose Rizal. This is a representation of Jose Rizal. Over here is the Spanish firing squad. So for Jose Rizal, they basically just did a show trial. They convicted him of sedition. They brought him here and they executed him by firing squad. Uh, he was executed when he was just 35 years old on December 30th, 1896 at 7.03 a.m. because he had the balls to stand up against tyranny. And anybody that stands up against tyranny is a good guy in my book. I seem to recall some other men that Bless you. I seem to recall some other men that stood up against tyranny. Declaration of Independence, anyone? This is the actual spot where he was executed.
that was pretty cool, getting to see the guards take their post. Uh, I did not see that in November, but I was here in November, and Raleigh was here, gave us the tour, and uh, we were a little bit late though. Funny story. At least I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I met a friend, and that's why we were late coming. So Raleigh called, and he says, <laughs> says you guys, I've been here a little while. I, I got bored. You guys know the story about guards, right? They're not allowed to show any kind of expression. They just stand there, can't talk, can't move. They just stand there and be guards. So he said, you guys, I've been here a little while. I'm bored. I decided to try to talk to the guards, but they wouldn't talk back. So I decided to just give them advice on how to do their job better. <laughs> I can't even tell the story without a straight face. I was crying laughing when I heard that. That was freaking funny. And that is Raleigh. He is such a funny, funny guy. Awesome sense of humor. Uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. When life gets you down, stand up and overcome. I seem to recall some other men this... Bless you. <laughs>